Hey guys, and welcome back to another day of Christmas. Today I am going to be doing a different type of video. I decided to do a winter coat collection video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the coats that I like to pull out in the winter time. I have coats and puffers to talk about today, so I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, I think this is one of the last videos you will be seeing, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for following along if you did. I hope my coat collection doesn't overwhelm you. I just finished filming it and I have a lot of coats, like a lot of coats and jackets. I come to the decision that I think I, I kind of collect them. A little bit. I also want to mention that I do live in Canada. I'm on the west coast so it doesn't get super cold I guess where I am. Um, we do get into like the negative 10 maybe degree Celsius range but it's not super duper cold or like other areas of Canada. But yeah I do have my coats based on my climate which is kind of cold, wet, and gross. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. a jacket that I've had for a couple years now. This is from Garage. I'm pretty sure they actually still sell this. This is one of my favorite coats or jackets of all time. It is this really fuzzy teddy bear coat, I guess. It's in this dark kind of chocolatey brown. I did get this in a size extra small and it was still pretty spacious. It's such a nice fuzzy coat. I'm sure my head is going to be cut off in this portion of the video, but just to give you guys a more close-up shot. So you can see the color, the style. It does have a nice length to it as well. And it falls right below my butt, which is good because that's kind of what I prefer. Um, I like things that cover my bum versus really short jackets. Anyway, this is the first one. I love it. Next piece of outerwear that I feel like everyone kind of needs a coat like this. Also, I'm sorry if my shirt's see-through. Um, I realize that like my bra is probably showing through, especially in the light. This one is actually from Zara. It's from a few years ago. I don't know if they still sell it. This is in a size small. I always forget to check the size before I put it on. By the way, I should mention I am around 5'5 five five in height, but I am wearing like heeled kind of boots right now, so it might be adding a little bit of length. But this falls just above my knees. It's not the warmest. I can only really wear this coat when it's like, um, you know, beginning of winter when it's not quite so cold. It has little lapels, not super big ones, side pockets. And like I said, it isn't the thickest, so you might not want to wear this if you are in a very super cold winter. Another essential coat, in my opinion, is a long line camel coat. This one is from Topshop. It's in a US 2, I think, or UK 6, maybe. I've always wanted a camel coat like this. Again, it's pretty long, so it falls just below my knees, maybe like mid calf. Just a very kind of classic camel coat. I don't think you can go wrong with any type of camel coat. It's another coat that you could probably dress up or dress down depending on the occasion. Um, I'd probably wear this if I had a party or a dinner to go to. Not this year, but if I did, I'd probably wear this because it is a pretty dressy coat. Another coat that's really, really similar. This would fall in my like super oversized category. I just really like the comfort of having this like super oversized coat to bundle in. It's really easy to layer things underneath. You can stuff a scarf on your neck and inside and button it up. This one is from Zara and it's in a size small. Probably should have gone with extra small. The sleeves are a little bit long. Oh, there's my mask. I was looking for this. This is like my longest coat, I think. It, it falls almost to my ankles. I wore this one to work a lot. The long this of it kept my legs warm when I was going to work on the bus and waiting in the cold. It does have these really nice drop sleeves, like these drop shoulders, which I actually think kind of makes you look even more cozy in it. Again, it does have a little bit of kind of look like you're just in an ill-fitted coat, but for some reason, I don't mind it. I don't like wearing this coat when I have to take pictures and stuff like that because it you can look like you're drowning in it, but just for comfort, wise. I personally really like it. I got it last year at the Zara sale. I don't think they have it anymore, but they do have a lot of oversized coats. I do recommend sizing down. If I had been repurchasing this or purchasing it now, I would buy an extra small, not a small, because it's so, 
so oversized. Obviously, I had to have one of these in my collection. I actually got this one this year. It was like my gift to myself this year. It is a very oversized teddy bear coat. It does have pockets. This is in a size, I think it's a UK 8, so like a US 4 maybe. It has huge lapels on the front, but I actually really like that and it's just so soft. It feels like you're wearing a blanket. It's a super warm coat. There's lots of space inside to layer underneath. Um, the only downside to this coat I think is that I don't know if I would want to wear it in the rain and it rains a lot where I live like every day pretty much I don't know if I'd feel super comfortable wearing this in the rain but on clear winter days I'll definitely wear this one I can't wait to start wearing it to work I kind of wish we were back in the office just a little bit because I wish I could wear like my coats <laughs> super fuzzy super cozy it is a bit oversized so definitely size it down if you don't like the oversized look and yeah I just really like it this is more of a statement coat I feel like you kind of need a patterned or statement I don't know you kind of need like a patterned statement coat in your collection this one is for, from dynamite and it is in a size extra small I actually think they still sell this one it's that really classy houndstooth pattern which I love I think houndstooth is like my favorite type of pattern um, more than gingham and more than plaid I really love houndstooth really longer than the oversized coat that I was showing you, but it's a little bit more slim fitting, so it doesn't kind of look as um, baggy, I guess. It is double breasted, so you can button this one up. I don't really like coats that are buttoned that much, like these types of coats. I don't really like how they look on me when they're buttoned. A coat that I feel like would just look so good if you have like an all black outfit underneath, black boots, maybe even like a black hat. I have like a black bucket hat that I think would look really nice with this coat. Lined, oh by the way, most of the, all the coats I think I showed you were lined on the inside. The sleeves are okay for the extra small. I have pretty long arms. Okay, last coat coat that I wanna show you before I go into my puffers because I love puffers, I like live in puffers. This is I think a must have because I have never owned like a bright colored coat. I tend to stick to neutrals. I really wanted something fun, so I got this coat from Topshop. It is in a size, I think it's a US 4, a UK 8. It is obviously bright pink. It does have a tie belt with it, which I'll do up in a second, and it has these nice little buttons on the side. And this collar is kind of, um, it's not like a lapel collar, but it kind of just like is one of those fold over color so it's a little bit awkward when you don't have it done up. I hope the color shows up on camera. It is super bright pink um, but I think it's really fun and I just think sometimes it's nice to have like a statement coat in your collection like a bold coat in your collection just for those days when you want to be a little bit different and not blend into everyone else. Just did the tie belt. I kind of feel like this is a little bit too big for me. I just get kind of nervous because sometimes coats are a little bit tighter and then I can't layer underneath and of course I always like to layer big sweaters and comfy knits underneath. I don't think you see a lot of people wearing like bright pink coats so you kind of want to stand out especially in the winter when things are so dark and dreary all the time. It's honestly one of my favorite coats I think. It's definitely a statement. I think I got it because I was so inspired by Emily in Paris. She had a pink coat and I think I saw it on sale and I was like yep yeah, I gotta get this. I love it. I think a bright pink coat was just what I needed this year. We are doing puffers next. I'm kind of whiz through the puffers because like I said, I own quite a few puffers. I live in puffers mostly because they are more waterproof and it rains a lot where I live so it's kind of nice to have something that's more water repellent. This first one is from H&M. I actually think I showed you guys this last year in a haul. Like I said, I like coats that cover my bum and this one doesn't really cover it. So it, like, I mean it almost does, but not really. So I don't feel as comfortable wearing it, but when I'm up on the mountain, this is just really like snowshoeing, I don't ski or snowboard, but when I'm snowshoeing up on the mountain, I love to wear this. Plus, I think this is good if you're going out for a night stroll because it's really bright colored, it's very neon. I don't think it's showing up as bright on camera, but this is a very vibrant shade of neon. It's just a really great puffer, and it was super affordable, H&M. Is pretty affordable when it comes to puffer jackets. Obviously, I think you need a red puffer. This one's from Zara from a couple years ago. Now, I've worn this coat so much. This is in a size small. I don't know if they have this anymore. This is one of their water repellent puffers. I'm sure they have something similar to it. It's kind of like a mid-length, like it definitely covers my butt. It has a bit of that, what's it called, like asymmetrical bottom can't remember what it's called, but when it's like shorter in the front and then longer in the back, so you get that extra coverage. Very puffy and super 
cozy and warm on the inside. I've had this for about two years. I wear it all the time. This is actually from years ago, for a long time. It's from Forever 21. I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore, but hopefully you can find something similar. I'll try and link something similar if I can find it down below. Again, it's more of a longer puffer. I'd say it's like a midi style puffer. It hits just above my knees. I one time saw somebody on the bus wearing this mustard colored puffer. I don't think it was this exact one, but she had a mu mustard colored puffer on, and as soon as I saw her in it, I was like, I need one of those color puffers in my life. So I think that's why I bought it. This one has a really nice puffy hood on it. I prefer puffers that have hoods, obviously, because it rains where I live. This is super, super warm. Like, you will not get cold in this puffer. I actually think it's like one of my warmest puffers, and it's from Forever 21. It also has zip pockets on the side, so when you're in the snow and stuff, and you don't want your phone or anything to get wet, you can just zip up your pockets, and they'll be protected. Something about this color that just makes me happy. I don't know. I love mustard tones, so that's probably why. And yeah, like I said, I've had this coat for a while. I really like it. It's really good quality, and I'll try and find something similar down below. Okay, this is from Zara. It's in an extra small, and it's basically the same as that last puffer you saw, but in black, and I think it's maybe a little bit shorter. Eh, maybe, I don't know. This actually came out this year, I think. It's timeless, it's classic. I don't think it's ever gonna go out of style. And again, this one is water repellent. It's super puffy, so it keeps you, I think it has like thermal something in it too, so it keeps you super warm. It has a nice hood on it as well, and I just think, Black puffers are a must, so I wanted to get one in this like midi length style. Last but certainly not least, this one's from Uniqlo, and this one is like my longest puffer. It goes right like past my knees, almost to my ankles, I guess. This was super affordable. I got it last year, I think, from Uniqlo. I think this is down in the inside. It's really cozy and warm. Actually, a lot of people where I live have these long style puffers. At least I did last year. I haven't seen them this year because I haven't been outside much, but they are pretty common. And it's for a good reason because they really keep you warm from like head to toe basically. You just need a good pair of boots and some gloves and a toque and you're good to go. And the nice thing about this is that it's not heavy. Like it's a very light down. So it's light weight, but it keeps you super warm, which is amazing. It's my last coat to show you guys. I hope I didn't overwhelm you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that my coat collection didn't scare you. I have so many, I realize it. But I also feel like coats are one of those things that you're gonna just keep forever. They're gonna fit you for a really long time. Also just trying to justify the amount of coats that I have, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let me know if you want more fashion style videos in the future. I'm really sorry if my head was cut off in all of the clips or if the angle was awkward. Um, it's really hard for me to see. I have to stand really far away and then I also can't see the camera viewfinder from that far away. So hopefully it turned out okay. Thank you guys so much for following along with the 12 days of Christmas this year. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming for you guys. I guess we have one more video left tomorrow's. Thank you guys as always for watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you tomorrow.